¿Qué tal chicos? Muy buenas tardes a todos, soy Traxon, se bienvenidos a un nuevo vídeo. En este caso vamos a ver el nuevo, como la actualización mensual que hacían del Victoria 3 hace tiempo. Pues estos que van saliendo del Joy 4, que están muy chulos también. Vamos a echarle un vistacillo, ¿no? Que yo creo que va a estar guapo. Eh, vamos allá. Subtítulos en español, por cierto. Italia. Argeo Poggers. Italia histórica, eh. Mano de zombie. Como se nota el acento español, tío. Hablando inglés. En plan, mola mucho. Esto de empezar con debuffos en los países es muy del, del Kaiser Rage. En plan que ya, ya haciéndolo tiempo con los DLCs últimos del Joy 4, pero me acuerdo que era como muy del Kaiser Rage al principio. Esto va a estar muy guapo, tío. Caminos históricos alternativos. The alt fascist branch focuses mainly on Italo Balbo and Dino Grandi. Italo Balbo was very much a military man, being a, an air marshal, so it will focus a lot on the military and building up Libya since he was a governor there. Uh, and for Dino Grandi, uh, he will focus mostly on uh, seeking new alliances and diplomatic ties with other nations and uh, with the help of other people building up the industrial base of Italy. The common branch between them will focus on dealing with the fascist party of Italy and the legacy of Mussolini. And when once you've done that, you can move forward to a brand new future for Italy and fascism. Tremendo, eh? The path for Italy is basically the monarchist branch for Italy, uh, where you can go either absolute monarchist or you can go down the path of a democratic uh, monarchy. You will ha also have to decide what to do with the fascist, the Grand Council of uh, Fascism. You can either disband the Black Church uh, or form the Royal Guard. You can also seek the support of the Papacy to oust the Council of Fascism totally. The monarchy. Ah, realmente. O sea, sí que es cierto que no nos no cuentan nada que no sepamos ya de los diarios de desarrollo, pero igualmente está bien a nivel de resumen esto y de, de ver imágenes, ¿no? Branch will also have uh, its own small industrial branch, which will uh, give different buffs and bonuses. What would an Italian alt history branch be without the Roman Empire? Of course, we need to have that in the game. Hombre, por supuesto. We do. Hombre. Me pregunto si van a dar rollo mazo de cumplimiento y tal en las antiguas regiones romanas. ¿Sabes cómo si fueran núcleos? Es just the beginning. No story of Italy's sphere of influence during World War II would be complete without giving a voice to their main adversary at the beginning of the campaign, Ethiopia. La música, eh? War with Italy, uh, they are probably going to lose that war. Trying to balance that is really fun. It, it's going to be Hearts of Iron on a not easy mode playing Ethiopia. The main idea is that you can Qué ganazas de jugar con Etiopía, chavales. Y comerse un buen Ethiopía, 
to find somewhere to go into exile and try to get them on your side and then retake your country. Es masivo el árbol, eh? Is to try and survive by collaborating with the Italians and backstabbing the emperor of Ethiopia. The other path is about doing the complete opposite of that and focusing on regaining independence from Italy. In the communist path, there's an option to try and gain support from the Soviet Union and go down a more authoritarian communist path. And the other option is to go down the anarchist path and try to... Ethiopia anarchist is a good path. ...the federation in Ethiopia to try and push back the Italians from East Africa. The anti-colonialism mechanic is a way for Ethiopia to liberate countries from imperial rule. The colonial mechanic allows... Y que realmente tenéis que ver Etiopía como que es el primer país africano realmente que recibe contenido en el Hoi 4. Porque sí, podéis hablar de Sudáfrica, pero seamos honestos, en plan el primer país que va a tener contenido moderno en África. Y hay tantos países independientes, ¿no? Creo que está Liberia, Etiopía... Y lo ya son todo colonias, ¿no? En plan, si hablamos de Sudáfrica o no. Weapons and um, give political support to resistance movements in countries to overthrow those European powers. The African Union is an organization that allow Ethiopia to form a supranational federation across the continent of Africa, kind of in the similar in a similar style to de hecho esto me hipea, chicos, de cara a cuando hagan el DLC de Oriente Medio, rollo Irak, Arabia Saudita, todo esto, tío. Pueden ser países muy guapos viendo el contenido reciente que están añadiendo al juego. With Italy and Ethiopia covered, we scale the Alps to experience the tenuous balancing act of Switzerland's historical position and a deeper look into timelines that might have been. Este voy a ser main este país, tío. Claro, tengo muy claro. Switzerland, Switzerland troops We do have a focused branch for fascism, but it's, it's a, a branch where Switzerland is coerced by its fascist neighbor, in this case Germany most of the time, to join them or else. In the fascist alt history path, you can join Germany as a, as a reluctant ally of them. On the other hand, you can stay democratic and join the allies, either by joining France uh, as, a, as a puppet, uh, joining the allies as, a, as an equal partner in Europe, or personally my favorite one, making a secret pact with the allies you can stay neutral and then help the allies covertly until you're ready to join the war properly este no me pese va a estar muy guapo eh este país en partidas multijugador va a estar tremendo tío en plan a ver qué hace el, el suizo en esta partida a ver a quién está ayudando está haciendo de forma encubierta está dándole bonus a unos países u otros está tremendo tío Switzerland seeks to spread their democratic system to the other Alpine states. Eventually, you will form a democratic confederation that consists of all the Alpine states, uh, and this will put you in a better footing to, to go against major powers. In By Blood Alone, we'll be introducing the balance of power mechanic, designed to represent factional division on a governmental level. The balance of power mechanic is a major new mechanic that will affect all nations in different ways and will have major consequences for Italy. Of course you have Benito Mussolini on the one side, which will face off uh, against uh, the Grand Council of Fascism. And if you want to oust Mussolini, you just you got to make sure that he he's not in power, that he's not controlling the balance of power. The balance of power will also affect the democratic path and the communist path in different kind of ways. In Switzerland, the power is devolved to the cantons. The leader is just a mere council with some vague powers, but not a lot of power. So the balance of power is between a decentralized Switzerland, uh, which is how it starts us, and a, a more central Switzerland, 
as, as you centralize Switzerland, you're able to take more aggressive actions. Because if, if you're decentralized, cantons don't want to join the war. Cantons want to stay neutral and Can't walk with you. deal with their own problems and instead of having to join a war. You can leverage the centralized power to make a more militarized Switzerland. And that's all for now. But we'll be back soon. Tío, la música, eh? My God. Until then, make sure to follow us on social media. La música, chicos. Espectacular, eh? Pina muy bien el nuevo del ECT, tengo muchas ganas. No hablo de cosas como las divisiones nuevas y tal. ¿Sabéis que sale en aproximadamente, bueno, menos de un mes? Creo que sale el 24 de septiembre, o sea que hay ganicas. Poco más que decir, chicos, cuidaros mucho. Nos vemos en el próximo vídeo. Chao, chao.